Hello, good evening. Um, today is our day nine of our prayer and fasting, beginning of the year prayer and fasting um, period. Uh, today we are praying for eight degrees and kingdom boardroom. My name is Agnes Chicalo. I welcome all of us who have um, already joined in. I can see that we are about um, five or so. Welcome so much, God bless you. Let's begin by a word of prayer. <clears throat> Father, we thank you so much because you're a good God. We thank you because you're our Father and we thank you because you're our Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this evening. As we come into your presence today, we welcome you. We say that, Lord, we are in union with you. We are in union with Christ. Christ is in us and we are in Christ. And so we thank you. We thank you that this far you have been together with us. We thank you that you have continued to strengthen us even through this um, period of fasting. There are those who have been unwell, but we thank you because you continue to strengthen us and to give us good health, oh Father. Thank you for today. Thank you for this evening as we continue to share together, as we continue to pray together. We invite you, Jesus, in our midst today. We invite the Holy Spirit together with us. And we pray that, Lord, you may continue to direct us and to help us through this evening. We thank you because, Lord, you have continually forgiven our sins. And so today, as we come before you, we say that the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all unrighteousness, Lord. We say that the blood of Jesus is speaking healing over our lives and forgiveness over our sins, O oh God. And so whatever it is that we have done that has not pleased you, we pray that, Lord, you forgive us. We repent of our sins today as we begin this session. We say that where we have erred before you, that, Lord, you forgive us. You forgive us of our mistakes, of our wrongdoings, of our weaknesses, Lord. You forgive us of our sins. You forgive us of our transgressions, Lord, and of our iniquities in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that is so powerful to forgive us, O oh Lord and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, we thank you. Father, may we be acceptable in your sight this evening as we come together to fellowship, O oh Lord, and to pray together. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, for the power of the Holy Spirit in us, O oh God. We thank you because you're a good God. We thank you that you have filled us with your spirit, O oh Lord, to empower us, O oh God, on the journey that we have begun together with you. And so we praise you, Lord. Thank you for all of us who have gathered together on Zoom, even to, thank, to, to, to praise together with you, to pray together and to, um, and to talk about our businesses and to present them before you, oh God. Because Lord, we thank you that you have given us this opportunity, Lord, to serve you even in our businesses. So thank you. Thank you so much, Lord. As we begin, Lord, we just want to welcome you to say, May you be together with us, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you because you're our Emmanuel God with us. So you are in us and you are with us. And we thank you because, Lord, you are for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is, as I said, our day nine. And um, we are focusing today on eight degrees and uh, kingdom boardroom. Um, these are business outfits in our in a, in a, in our in our in our in our in our church, and so today we just want to. We have been from morning. We have been focusing on this and praying over our businesses, and praying over our um, our families that are involved in these businesses, and some of us are involved in businesses with our friends and with other people, our partners, and so. We have been presenting them before God today um, in line with what um, we, we have the, in the prayer and fasting schedule. So today we are just going to pray for God's blessing on these um, two groups, eight degrees, and we are going to also um, ask God to bless our um, kingdom boardroom. Kingdom boardroom is an outfit where we have many um, businesses in the church that meet, to get, that, um, um, meet together once in a... Um, in, in so much time to just pray together and to fellowship um, over the same. We are also going to thank God and to pray for right alignments for our businesses. 
and also for right ideas and the capacity to keep building in line with the will of God. Um, so, so, so that's what we are going to pray for and other things that we are going to pray for. So we thank God that um, we have many businesses. We have many businesses in our, in our, in our, in our Mideast, in our church, in our congregation. And we know that all these businesses um, we have not just begun them because we need money, because we need profit out of them. But for most of us who are in business, we have begun businesses because we know that that is a mandate that God has given us, that our, our businesses are not just um, um, for us, but they are a calling and a mandate from, from God. So we thank God for the many businesses that are represented in our, in our church. And as we do business, um, um, as we do business, we, we, engage, we engage God, sorry, we engage God in, um, in these businesses. We don't want to do business as the world does business, but we want to do them because God has mandated, mandated us to do the businesses that he has given to us. And so there are so many aspects, there are so many aspects of business that we get from um, the kingdom because ours are business, I mean, uh, are kingdom businesses. So we bring down the kingdom aspects into our businesses. Um, the Bible says that, I mean, the, the Lord himself gave us an example in the, in the Lord's prayer when he says, when he said that, may your kingdom come and may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And therefore we bring down the kingdom of God in our businesses. Jesus himself also said that the kingdom is in us. The kingdom of heaven is in us. So if the kingdom of heaven is in us and we are in business, therefore we bring the kingdom of God in our businesses. And therefore, because there are so many aspects of the kingdom that are supposed to be in our businesses, we realize that we are supposed to be pulling down those um, kingdom aspects into our own businesses. And therefore, um, like the Bible says in um, Luke 17, 21, the kingdom of God is within us. If the kingdom of God is within me and I'm in business, that means that I, 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 the, the kingdom that is in me goes, um, does not just remain in me, but it spills over into my business it spills over into my family and into my relationships and everything else that surrounds me that pertains to, to me. And so that kingdom, that, that business that I am doing is supposed to, to have the kingdom um, aspects, the kingdom of God aspects, because it is, it is um, mandated by God. It is mandated by God. God is the one who began it and God is the one who is supposed to be helping us to run it. And therefore we run our businesses, not just like any other person runs uh, their businesses, but we run our businesses before, in, in line with what God wants us, um, how God wants us to run them. And therefore we, we, we can ask ourselves, how much of the kingdom um, of God do we bring into our businesses? Which aspects of the kingdom come into our businesses from, from God himself through us? which aspects of the kingdom of God are spilling over from, from within us into our, king, into our businesses. And so as we pray to God, as we trust God, as we believe God, we realize that we present our businesses to God so that God can, can, can help us um, to run them and, um, and, and, and so that God is, uh, is able to help us not only just to run them, but that he gives us um, the, the wisdom that we need, the knowledge that we need, the understanding that we need to run our businesses. Um, and therefore, um, our businesses are therefore kingdom businesses. No wonder we have kingdom boardroom, the businesses that are um, coming from the kingdom, the businesses that, are, um, that God himself has ordained to, to serve him. So our businesses are supposed to serve the Lord in this world, and in, in, our, in, our, in our spheres, in our, in our, in our, in our, in our, in our, in, in our environment, the, our businesses are to serve, are supposed to serve the Lord. And, and so we get our business strategies from God. We get our business strategies from God, and 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 some of those strategies, um, 
um, a, a, a bit difficult even for us to come up with. But when we rely on God, we realize that he gives us business um, strategies. And so um, some of our businesses, when we began them, for some people, they began their businesses in pain, um, in struggle with a lot of challenges. But then you realize later, you realize that when you continue to trust God, God helps you to overcome those challenges, to navigate around those challenges. So we thank God that our businesses are founded on the, uh, on, on the word of God. They are founded on the basis of, of um, what God wants us to do and how he wants us to do. And so we, 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 when, you didn't, we, when we need help, we know that we can get help from God. God himself helps us in so many ways. And in our businesses, another thing that we learn about, um, I mean, we are supposed to engage in our businesses is the angels of God that he has assigned to our businesses. There are specific angels that God has assigned to our businesses and we need to identify them and not only identify them, but also partner with them and engage them through our businesses. So we know that God has given us angels. God has given us angels that he has assigned to our businesses. And so it is our duty therefore to ensure that we are um, identifying those, we are able to identify those angels identify what they are there for. Are they angels to help us to get uh, resources? Are they angels to protect and to guide us in our businesses? So we identify them and we partner with them. And we also engage them, you know, step by step. When we have challenges, when, when we have um, difficulties in our, in, our, in, our, in, in our businesses, we engage them so that they are able to help us to navigate through all that. Uh, and so um, we are going to pray through um, some of the things that, um, that concern our businesses. And we are going to, to pray through um, certain scriptures that we have here, especially we shall begin with the, the two scriptures in, um, the reference scriptures that we were given. And the first one is Micah chapter 2, verse 13. Micah chapter 2, verse 13 is a verse that says, the breaker shall go up before them. They will break out. They will pass through the gate and go out. So their, their king goes on before them the Lord at their head. I'll read it again. The breaker who is the Messiah, who opens the way, shall go up before them, liberating them. They will break out and pass through the gate and go out. So their king goes on before them, the Lord at their head. So we are going to pray that the breaker, that the Messiah, that the Lord himself goes um, up before us, and he continues to, lib to, to liberate us, that the, go the, the, that the Messiah or the breaker will break out, that he will pass through the gate and that he will go out, so that the king will go before us, that the Lord will go ahead of us. So we thank God. We thank God that we have the Messiah who is our breaker. So thank we, we, we want to pray over the same. Father, we thank you. We thank you because you have sent Christ to be our breaker. We thank you, my Father, because you go before us. You go before us and you break out. You pass through the gates and you go out. We thank you, Lord, because you are the one who is leading us. You are leading us in our businesses, oh Lord, we thank you. We thank you that Lord, when we have difficulties in our businesses, it is you who leads us. We thank you because Lord, you go ahead of us. You go ahead of us to guide us, to guard us. We thank you, Lord. We thank you because every um, situation in our, in, 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 our, in, our, in our businesses that we are not able to, 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 to solve, it is you who comes to break out, to give us victory over the same in the name of Jesus. Thank you. 
Thank you because, Lord, you are the breaker. Thank you because, Messiah, you are the breaker. And you're the one that, we, that, lead us, that leads us. You're the one that we follow. Thank you because when we follow you, then we shall not get lost. We cannot get lost when we are following you in our businesses, Lord. When we consult with you, Father, we thank you because we receive all that we need in the name of Jesus. We thank you because every resource that we need in our, in, in our businesses, Lord, you come through to provide the same in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you because you are the Lord that breaks forth every boundary, oh God, in Jesus' name. We thank you, my Father, because every fence that has come up against our, 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 our businesses, in Jesus' name, you pull it down, you pull it down. You break everything that needs to be break, bro broken in the name of Jesus, in our businesses, in Jesus' name. And you give us victory. You give us victory. You give us victory, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you because you do this because you love us. Thank you because you do this because you've given us um, our businesses uh, as, 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 as a gift from you, oh God. And thank you, Father, because we are just stewards of these businesses, but you are the one, oh Lord, who continually be, uh, is the master of it all, oh God. So thank you because you own our businesses, Lord. You own our businesses, we are stewards. So you're helping us, oh Lord, to steward these businesses in the way that you want us to, in the name of Jesus. You give us the strength to do it, oh Lord. You give us the wisdom, the understanding, the understanding to do the same in the name of Jesus. Thank you in the name of Jesus because you are the breaker in Jesus' name. Um, First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10 says, Jabez cried out to the Lord, to the God of Israel, all oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Um, Jabez um, had been born in pain. The mother had borne him in pain, and no wonder that he was given that name, Jabez. Uh, some of our businesses have been born in pain with a lot of challenges. Perhaps we did not have enough resources. We did not have enough, um, in, enough, enough understanding of what we are getting into. And so we began our businesses in pain. But the Lord says, Jabez, the Bible says that Jabez cried to the Lord. He had been born in pain, but he cried to the Lord that his territory would be enlarged. So um, though our, some of our businesses have been born in pain and we have gone through pain in our businesses of, of, of whichever kind, we can trust God that in this season, our businesses we shall, uh, shall be enlarged that the territory of our businesses shall be enlarged in the name of Jesus. So we pray for the same, that God will not let us remain in the pain in which um, the, our businesses were born, but that we shall break forth and break out, that we shall enlarge, that he shall enlarge our territory, and that um, he will continue to, to bless our, our, our businesses. Father, we thank you. And like Jabez, we cry. We cry that you may enlarge the territory of our businesses in the name of Jesus. For those of us who, who, who began our businesses in pain of any kind, oh Father, we pray that in Jesus' name you may give us relief in this season in the name of Jesus. May you lessen our pain, the pain in which we began these businesses, oh Lord. May you give us victory of every kind, oh Lord, round about us in the name of Jesus, we pray. We pray like Jabez, oh Lord, may you bless us. May you bless us and enlarge our territory in the name of Jesus. So we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you bless us, that you enlarge our territory, oh my Father. Every territory, my Father, that is represented in our, in our, in our businesses, we pray that you will enlarge them, oh God. Our borders will be enlarged in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you because you are the Lord who breaks every, every boundaries, oh God, in our, in, our, in our businesses in the name of Jesus. And you give us victories, oh God, that only you can give us 
in the name of Jesus. So every pain that we have had in our businesses, Lord, you remove in the name of Jesus and you cause us to walk in your victory. You cause us to, to, to walk in a territory that has been enlarged in the name of Jesus. So our boundaries, oh my Father, are enlarged in Jesus' name. You enlarge our boundaries in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we may have started small, oh God, but we thank you because there is growth, oh God, that is that you are causing to come in our businesses in Jesus' name, growth of all kinds, oh God. We thank you because you are expanding us in our businesses, oh Lord. You continue to expand us in every way in the name of Jesus. You bring us connections. You bring us human resources that, oh Lord, that, that fear you in the name of Jesus Christ and that my Father, our businesses shall honor you in every way, oh God, and that daily we shall call upon the name of the Lord, that our businesses may be saved in every way in the name of Jesus. So like Jabez, we pray that, Lord, you may enlarge our territory. Like Jabez, we pray that, Lord, you may enlarge our boundaries in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, where we have been squeezed in places, oh God, you begin to enlarge us in Jesus' name. Where have we have been squeezed in, 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 our, in, in our businesses, oh God, we pray that, Lord, you may enlarge us. You begin to enlarge us. You begin to expand us in every way in the name of Jesus. Because of the great love that you have for us, we thank you. We thank you, my Father, because you are a good God. We thank you, my Father, because you are a good God. You love us, oh, my Father, and you love our businesses, oh, Lord, because the, these businesses, my Father, are are, are unto you a sign and a wonder in the name of Jesus. You enlarge our territories in the name of Jesus. You enlarge the territories of our businesses in the name of Jesus. You enlarge the territories of eight degrees in Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, our individual uh, um, uh, businesses, oh Lord, our family businesses, oh Lord, even the businesses for which we work, oh God, we pray that you enlarge the territories of these businesses in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that you enlarge our territories in the name of Jesus. And my father, those businesses that were born out of pain, oh my father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you heal the pain in Jesus' name. You heal the pain in Jesus name thank you that you heal the pain you heal the pain in the name of Jesus and you cause us oh my father together with the businesses to sow in the name of Jesus to so high 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 in the name of Jesus Christ that we shall not remain where we began but that we shall grow in the name of Jesus we shall grow from level to level we shall grow from grace to grace in the name of Jesus we thank you because Lord grace uh, great, uh, great is our our, our 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 businesses oh my father thank you my father because our businesses oh my father have been graced with so much peace in Jesus name there is no turmoil in our businesses in the name of Jesus. We thank you that, Lord, there is no confusion, oh my Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you that we have peace, oh God, surrounding us in our businesses in the name of Jesus and your protection is over our businesses in the name of Jesus. You are a good God. 
you are a loving father. And because you love our businesses, oh, my father, we thank you because they grow, oh, God. They grow from one level to another in the name of Jesus, and they make profit in Jesus' name. We thank you that it is not in vain that they exist, oh, God, but it is for the kingdom of Christ that they exist in the name of Jesus. Thank you and thank you because you're a good God in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Um, Exodus 23, verse 20 to 21 says, <clears throat> See, I'm sending an angel ahead of you to guard you along the way and to bring you to the place I have prepared. Pay attention to him and listen to what he says. Do not rebel against him. He will not forgive your rebellion since my name is on him. The Lord says that we see that we see that he is sending an angel. Let us be aware of the angels that God has sent in our businesses. Let us be aware and appreciate the angels that God has sent in our businesses. He says that I am sending an angel ahead of you to guard you along the way, that God has sent angels to guard us, to guard our businesses along the way, along the path. God has sent angels to guard us. And this angel represents the, um, the, the, the presence of God. The angels of God represent his presence. So the presence of God is together with us in our, in our businesses in the form of the angels that he has sent to guard us and to guide us and to lead us, to protect us along the way and to bring us to the place where he has prepared. God has prepared a place for all our businesses. There is a place that God has prepared for all our businesses. And so he has provided an angel or angels to guide us along the way. He has prepared um, this place, but he has also sent us those angels to guide us and to guide us, to lead us along the way. And so he's a good father. He not only gives us a business, but he says, my presence will go together with you. And so we want to thank God for all those angels that he has sent in our businesses. We want to thank God for the angels that he has sent to guide, to guard, and pro to protect us and to lead us along the way. And these angels, we, we pray that God will help us to identify them. These angels, God will help us to, um, to, to, to engage them and to work together with them in our businesses. So let's pray and, 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 and ask God to help us to um, identify our angels, to um, engage our angels so that they can help us through uh, our businesses on the journey of our businesses. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for every angel that you have provided <clears throat> for each one of us in our businesses in the name of Jesus. Even the angel that you have provided for um, eight degrees in Jesus' name. We declare that, Lord, these are the angels that you have sent to represent the pre your presence in our businesses. And so we say, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for sending us help in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the name of angels. Thank you for sending us this help in the name of angels. Thank you that these angels guide us, they guard us, they protect us, and they lead us along the way. <clears throat> they know where we need to go. They know where you have mandated our businesses to go, and they direct us along those paths in the name of Jesus. So we thank you. We thank you. Thank you, Lord, for these businesses that you have given us and for the angels that you have given us. Help us to identify them. You, have te you, you tell us in the word, see that I have given you this angel. See that I have sent an angel. Open our eyes to see these angels in our businesses, Lord. Open our eyes to see these angels, oh God. Open our inner eyes. Open even our physical eyes. When they come, oh Lord, dressed not in a manner that um, we, 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 we can identify them. Help us with the inner eyes to identify that these are the angels that you have sent in our businesses, oh Lord, to guard, to guide, and to lead us along the way, to lead us to those places where you have wanted us to, you want us to go in our businesses, oh Lord. So thank you. Thank you for every angel that you have sent us, oh God. 
Thank you for every angel in our families, oh God. Thank you for every angel in our individual lives, oh God. In our business outfits, we thank you. We thank you even for the people that we work with, oh God, and we work for in the name of Jesus, that Lord, they'll be able, my Father, to experience also these angels, oh God, and the help that these angels give us, oh Lord. So we thank you. We thank you that these angels, oh God, have been activated, oh God, to guide us, have been activated to help us, have been activated to lead us in the name of Jesus Christ. So we thank you. Thank you, my Father, for these angels. We thank you. We thank you that, my Father, we shall not only identify them, O oh God, but we shall partner together with them, O oh Lord. We shall engage them always, always, always. We shall always be aware of them, always look out for them in the name of Jesus, because they are always around us. They are always around us. So, Lord, help us to feel them. They help us to experience them. Help us to see them, oh God, in our businesses, oh Lord, in our daily walk with you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for angels, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the angels, my Father, that are involved in our businesses, oh God, by morning, by noon, by evening, oh God, they protect us, oh my Father, and they wear the for every uh, calamity, oh my Father, that the enemy may want to throw at us in the name of Jesus. Thank you that these angels are alert, oh God. They have been activated, oh my Father, oh God, and they are full of strength, oh Lord, to protect us in the name of Jesus. Thank you because they light up our way, oh my God, as we walk, oh my Father, ahead. They, they walk ahead of us, oh God, guiding us, oh Lord, and showing us the way in the name of Jesus Christ. So we thank you. We thank you and we ask you to forgive us where we have um, we have in the past, oh God, we have not been able to, 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 to engage them, oh Lord, as we should, oh God. My Father, we pray that you forgive us, oh Lord, and help us, my God, as, as, as we move ahead, oh God, to not only, um, uh, uh, to, to not only identify them, oh Lord, but to partner with them, oh God, to appreciate them for who they are and for the things that they are supposed to do in our lives, in our businesses, in the name of Jesus. We thank you. Thank you for our angels, Lord. Thank you for the business angels that you've given us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for these angels in the name of Jesus Christ. We worship you, oh Lord. We love the name of the Lord. We love you, oh Jesus. We love the angels that you have given us. We honor them. We honor them. We honor them in, the, in Jesus' name. We do not take them for granted. In Jesus' name, we honor them. We do not worship them, but we honor them. We honor them for who they are, for what their, their, their role is in our businesses, in our lives, in the name of Jesus, for the strength that they bring us in Jesus' name, for the guidance that they give us in the name of Jesus, for the leading that they they, they, they they show us in the name of Jesus because they show us the way. And so we say thank you. Thank you, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you that our angels are strong. Thank you that our angels are, are, are wise. Thank you that our angels, oh God, will not be lazy in the name of Jesus, but they shall do that which you have uh, uh, assigned them to do in our businesses in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for these angels that you have given us, oh Lord. Thank you for the gift of angels in our families. Thank you for the gift of angels in our businesses in the name of Jesus. We bless you. We bless you in the name of Jesus. And whenever we call upon uh, their help, they shall be swift to help us in the name of Jesus. Thank you because they shall be swift to help us, oh Lord, whenever we call upon you to help us, oh Lord. We shall send them swiftly and they shall help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, 
Another scripture that I want us to share um, and to pray through is um, Psalms chapter 37, verse 23 to 24. The Bible says, uh, The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fail, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. May the Lord make firm our steps as we continue to delight in him. Though we may stumble, may the Lord help us not to fall because he upholds us with his hand. Father, we thank you that you uphold us. We have made mistakes in our businesses, Lord. We have made mistakes in our businesses, Lord. We have faltered, oh Lord, but we pray today that Lord, you will forgive us and that Lord, you'll uphold us in the name of Jesus. As we continue to delight in you, oh my Father, may you make our path straight, oh God. May our steps, oh God, be made straight, oh God, be made firm in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We thank you because our steps, oh God, as we delight in you, you make our steps firm in the name of Jesus Christ. Every decision that we need to make in our in, 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 in our businesses, oh Lord, we thank you because you'll help us to make those decisions firmly in Jesus' name. Thank you for firm decisions and thank you, oh God, because our steps are made firm, oh God. Whichever steps we need to make, we need to take in our businesses, we thank you that they are firm, that you make them firm in Jesus' name. And help us to delight in you, even in these businesses. As we run our businesses, Lord, help us to delight in you, to delight in you, to delight in you, O oh God, so that you may, you may fulfill the desires of our hearts, O oh God. As we continually delight in you, O oh God, in our businesses, may you fulfill the desires of our hearts concerning our businesses, O oh God. May our prayers be answered, O oh God, in Jesus' name, according to your will over our businesses, because your will for our businesses is perfect, O oh God. It is good, it is perfect, and it is, it is, it is acceptable, O oh God. So we thank you for the great will that you have for our families and for our businesses in the name of Jesus. We pray that your will, oh God, your purposes for our, for our, for our, for our businesses, oh Lord, shall be good in Jesus' name, shall be perfect and shall be acceptable in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father, that you strengthen us, oh Lord. You strengthen our steps, oh God. You make them firm in Jesus' name. You make our steps firm firm in the name of Jesus. So we thank you and we give you praise. We thank you and we give you glory and honor because you strengthen our steps, oh God, every step of the way that we take in our businesses. We thank you that these steps are firm. So make our steps firm in you, oh God, and help us to continually delight in you, oh God. Where we falter, Father, forgive us in Jesus' name. Where we falter, bring us back, oh God, on track in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you because you lead and you guide and you guide us, you, you guide us, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And finally, we just want to pray for profit, that our businesses shall make profit. Proverbs 14 to um, 23 says, all hard work brings a profit. That may, um, that is um, Proverbs 14, 23, um, but a eh, all hard work brings a profit. We're working hard in our businesses and we need profit. So we are going to pray that God may help us and reward our, our, our hard work with profit. Father, we thank you. We thank you that you reward our hard work with profit in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you because you reward our hard work, our hard work in our businesses. Whatever we sell, whatever we buy, whatever services, whatever commodities, my Father, as we work hard, as we wake up early in the morning to go to our businesses, as we come back in the evening, having um, worked through the day, oh God, may those um, uh, our labors, oh God, produce profit in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you that, Lord, you, we produce, you, you help us to produce for profit in our businesses in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, even those um, businesses that uh, currently are not making profit because the, of the circumstances um, surrounding them, we just want to pray that you turn around those situations in the name of Jesus. Turn around those situations in the name of Jesus. Those businesses that are making losses, oh Lord, Father, we pray that you may turn around those situations in Jesus' name. We pray that my Father, even those businesses, oh my God, um, that 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 are receiving attacks from, from the enemy, oh God, that Lord, you may bring protection over them, oh Lord, so that they may continue to receive profit in the name of Jesus. So thank you for profit, Lord. So thank you for profit. Thank you for the profit that you bring in our businesses in the name of Jesus Christ. Every day that we do business, oh my Father, may there be profit in Jesus' name. May our labor never be in vain in these businesses in Jesus' name. Those who are in the farming industry, oh my Father, as they farm, oh my God, we thank you that even out of season and in season, Lord, you make the, their, pro, uh, their uh, crops prosper in the name of Jesus. And we thank you because, Lord, it shall come uh, to pass that all our businesses we shall experience shall experience profit in the name of Jesus. You are the one who causes profit to come to our businesses, and we thank you for that, oh Lord. And we ask you that in the name of Jesus, that we shall continually receive and experience experience profitable um, 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 businesses, oh Lord, profitable results, oh God, in, in the name of Jesus, in our businesses, oh God. We thank you that there shall be no more losses, oh God, no more losses in the name of Jesus, no more losses, only blessings in the name of Jesus. You give us ideas, oh Lord, that will help us, oh my Father, to get, um, to make more profit oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We thank you that you continue to bless us, to expand us, oh God, even in our, in, 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 in our minds, oh God, you continue to expand us, oh God, to give us great understanding, oh Lord, to give us knowledge, oh God, to give us wisdom in these businesses, oh my Father, how to run them, oh my God, who to run them with in the name of Jesus. You give us resources from the kingdom of heaven, oh God, my Father, even the resources of uh, the human resources that we need, oh God, you provide in Jesus' name, the financial resources that we need, physical resources um, of every kind, oh Lord, we receive them in the name of Jesus so that, Lord, we make profit, oh God, for the kingdom in the name of Jesus. And when we give us this profit, oh God, may it not just to, pro, um, to benefit us alone, oh God, but to benefit the kingdom as well in the name of Jesus. So we thank you, oh my God, because you are a good God. We thank you for every um, um, business that, Lord, you have given us in the name of Jesus. And we say that my father you'll give us more businesses so that my father we are not just operating one or two businesses but we have many multiple multiple streams of income oh god in the name of jesus so he say that lord you expand us you expand us oh my god you expand us in the name of jesus in every way that we need that expansion we pray that lord we receive it in jesus name so my father we just lay ours uh, we, we, we 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 lay ourselves bare before you committing everything that concerns sons of businesses to you, O oh God, asking you, Lord, to come and help us, O oh Lord, because our help comes from you, O oh God, maker of heaven and earth, O oh Lord. We thank you, my Father. We thank you so much, O oh Lord, for our businesses, O oh Lord. We thank you that you have seen um, us worthy, O oh God, to give us these businesses that we're running, O oh my God. And we say that, my Father, you continue to bless us and to bless them in the name of Jesus. So thank you, O oh my Father. Thank you. Thank you for this season. As we continue to pray and to fast over uh, the many things that we are doing, oh my Father, that we, have, that, that we are praying over in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that you give us results, oh God. My Father, we are not just doing this to pass the time of, of, of the beginning of the year, but we are doing this because, oh Lord, we love you, because we have a relationship with you, oh my God, because you are in us and we are, and we are, we are in you, oh my Father. So we thank you because you continue to burn in us. Your fire continues to burn 
honey in us, oh my God, my God, to give us um, that, that desire to continually please you, oh God. Thank you, my Father, that we shall continue to be intimate with you, oh God. We shall continue to be intimate with you, oh my Father, in the name of Jesus, that every day we shall set a time, uh, a, a side time, oh my God, to just be with you, to fellowship with you in the name of Jesus, because you love us, oh my God. As we wake up in the morning, oh God, we shall run to our secret places, oh my Father, to just be with you, oh Lord. We thank you, oh my Father. We thank you because we shall dwell in, your, in the secret place of the Most High, oh God. Even in our businesses, oh my Father, when we step in there, oh God, we thank you, my Father, because we shall call the kingdom of God in those places in the name of Jesus. We thank you, oh my God. We praise you. We love you because you first loved us, oh my Father. So we thank you for strength, oh God, and we thank you for peace in our hearts and in our businesses in the name of Jesus and in our families and in our, in our, in our, in our church in the name of Jesus. Thank you because you're a good God. Thank you because you never leave us, you never forsake us. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. We love you, oh Lord. We worship you, oh Lord. We glorify your name. You are a good God. And we honor you tonight. We honor you tonight. We honor you tonight. Thank you for having been with us today, oh God, and this evening, Lord. As we have prayed to you, Lord, we thank you. Because, Lord, you're the one who answers our prayers, oh Lord. So, Lord, thank you for every prayer that we have offered in this place. We thank you, oh God, that you are answering every one of these prayers in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father, because you answer our prayers and you are answering them in the name of Jesus. We bless you, oh Lord. We love you, oh Father. We honor you. We give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you tonight. Um, our time is up. So God bless you. We see each other another time. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Yes, Grace. Yeah, yes, Mam Sheets. Yes. Uh, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for mm -hmm. those prayers. They are yes. deep, they are rich from, you know, your heart of hearts. We Thank will you. keep trusting in the Lord. We will keep uh, feasting on his faithfulness because he is faithful. I need to ask whether there is someone on Zoom who wants to say something. Like when you're praying, you maybe you received a revelation, you saw something, you want to confirm something. I, uh, just unmute and and talk to us. Feel free to unmute and talk to us before we move to something else. All right, we'll move to giving. It's time to give. So as we give, I'll share our pay bill. I need to allow me to share our pay bill. But there is our pay bill. As we give, again, I'll read a scripture. All right, I'm reading from Luke 6.38, Luke 6.38. Give generously and generous gifts will be given back to you. Shaken down to make room for more. Abundant gifts will pour out upon you with such an, over, an overflowing measure that it will run over, over, to run over the top. Your measurement of generosity becomes the measurement of your return. Thank you very much. Let's uh, continue to give. And as we continue to give, I'll give thanks. Father, we bless you and we honor you. Thank you, Father, for again an opportunity to gather together as a Kima family. Thank you because as we gather like this, you are with us. Thank you because you never leave us and you never forsake us. We thank you because you're God who answers our prayers, oh, Father God, and you love us so much. Father, we thank you for the giving of your people. Thank you, Father, for the blessings. Thank you for the love in the name of Jesus. 
We bless you. We honor you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen and amen. So thank you, everyone, for joining in. Thank you, those who are here on Zoom, those who are on YouTube. We will meet tomorrow at 7 for day 10. Asante Nisana, let's say the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And thank you.